That's Paul Newman again as the hustler. Now, 25 years later, he spots young Tom Cruise as raw talent. He can train to fool suckers. The name of the film, The Color of Money. Oh. Although it might sound like a sequel to The Hustler, The Color of Money is actually more like another chapter in the continuing story of Fast Eddie Felson's obsession with the game of pool. Felson is played again, of course, this time by Paul Newman, and years have passed since the last movie, and now he's a wise old pro who has learned all of his lessons the hard way. Then he discovers an incredibly talented kid played by Tom Cruise and decides to back him financially and coach him into the world of big-time pool hustling. You've got a, an area of excellence. You're good at something. You're the best at something, anything. Then rich can be arranged. I mean, rich can come fairly easy. Really? Yeah. you got some other area of excellence beside this stalker? Nine balls? Right? You're some piece of work. I'm some piece of work. You're also a natural character. I've been telling her that. You know, i got a natural character. No, that's not what I said, kid. I said, you are a natural character. You're an incredible flake. Later in the film, their partnership breaks up, and Newman and Cruz are competitors in a national pool tournament. distracting for me the other way all of those pool balls bounce around like that and the scene gets even worse as it goes on that's not pool that's gimmickry it looked like it was set up for a tv commercial or something and it's all the more disappointing because the color of money was directed by martin scorsese who is one of the two or three best movie directors around today and it revisits some of the hard-boiled pool halls that he also explored in his great 1973 movie mean streets but this film is a disappointment it doesn't have the interior energy and the drive and the obsession of most of the best Scorsese films, films like Raging Bull and Taxi Driver, and a lot of the time it's just a standard, sort of predictable narrative. The performances in the movie seem strong enough in and of themselves, but somehow they never really connect. You never, you get the idea of the relationships, but you never really feel the passion. And there's one more big problem. The movie leads us right up to the brink of a big payoff, a final showdown between Newman and Cruz, and then it doesn't deliver. Now, sure, I know, they probably thought it was irrelevant who would win the final big game between the old man and the kid. Well, that's a great theory, but in practice, I felt cheated. I didn't like the ending either, and the last shot of the movie I really didn't like, but I, I want to get into the other reason why I didn't like the movie, and I was shocked because he's one of my favorite directors, too. Mm -hmm. I think it's the script here. I don't think that I've seen a movie by such a great director where I've been able to predict what's going to happen. At first, the kid is just a pure player, and he's sort of a rock and roller, almost like the character he played in Top Gun, a hot shot, and he's gonna be, have to be trained by the, the wise old guy. Mm -hmm. then, he's gonna res then he's gonna go along, and then they're gonna break up and pull apart, and then they're gonna square so, off. So, so this far, movie, we've got the karate kid, the, right? The, the design of this movie, the overall design, mm -hmm. is just known right from the beginning, and there wasn't anything that surprised me. Now, the characters are, 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 are fine, but the script isn't good. It's the old man and the young kid, and linear, linear, just yeah. as we've seen it in so many other movies. You expect with Scorsese more character things, more twists, not just that the point is to tell the story. That's right. not what you expect. That's and what's right. interesting in the movie are the corners. For example, Helen Shaver as Newman's girlfriend. Terrific, terrific role. Mary Elizabeth Master Antonio as Cruz's girlfriend. Yeah. They're interesting. They're giving some personality things. But the two main actors seem to be locked in this plot. Yes, I wish there had been more with the women and less of the obvious pool fights in the way it's all going to turn out. That's a big disappointment. We were both disappointed. Martin Scorsese's The Color of Money. There were some good performances, but the script is flat and predictable.